Well, a former high school wrestling coach who collected thousands of dollars for a fake battle with cancer is going to prison for that and an even worse crime. This t-shirt design is just an example of the outpouring of support Zach Jones received from the community that believed he had leukemia. People came out in force for events like this benefit dinner in Brighton. But it was all a scam. And our Jason Colthorpe is here to tell us how this was discovered during the investigation. Jason? Carmen, as Howell police investigated this fake cancer claim, they discovered he also sexually abused a boy he helped coach in wrestling. Today at his sentencing, we heard just how rough it's been for this family. Now, probably forced to move and start over. I will never understand how you and your family could have lied and taken advantage of so many good and trusting people that only wanted to help you. An entire community duped by volunteer wrestling coach Zach Jones of Howell. Today he answered for faking leukemia and then sexually abusing a 13-year-old boy whose family had taken him in while they thought he was dying. The prosecutor read a statement from that family today. The hurt and pain caused our family is beyond anything words can express. We trusted you. We brought you into our family and treated you like a son. You are a predator in the worst form of the word. The victim also wrote a letter in which he talks about first idolizing Jones and then wishing how he'd never asked for his number to talk about wrestling. None of my friends will look or talk to me the same. Zach, I hope after your sentence, uh, the next time I hear your name is someone telling me you died. I'm here to put everything to rest and take ownership of my actions. Jones, who was 21 at the time, apologized to the community that raised thousands in fundraisers and the victim and his family. I wish there was something I could do to go back and fix everything. I hope you guys can find peace again in your household one day. Once again, I am so very sorry. The judge, deciding he needed to send a message, sentenced Jones to a minimum of 15 years in prison and a maximum of 40. Jones was convicted on five counts total, three for the criminal sexual conduct, the others relating to faking cancer and taking those thousands of dollars. Devin?